Sagittarius, welcome back to White Crow Tarot. My name is Ebony. This is your intimate tarot reading for June 2021. Welcome back, Sagittarius. Guys, thank you for bearing with me as I am getting a couple things finalized with my new setup, as you can see, for returning visitors. If you haven't been back to the channel in a second, as you can see, we're in a new location, and I'm just getting a couple technical things situated on the channel. Guys, thank you for your patience, especially in the area of sound. I know that has been an issue, and I am doing my best. It is... Trust me, you, you don't want to see me pissed off when I get through four readings or three readings and suddenly realize that my sound is absolute shit. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Because it kind of basically means that the whole reading was messed up. Or it could just be Spirit's way of saying you weren't meant to hear that, but then why, Spirit, did you waste my time? You know what I mean? <laughs> Spirit's like, we tried to tell you, you weren't paying attention. And I'm like, well, dang. Anyway, uh -huh. general messages only here, of course. Take what resonates with you, Sagittarius. Leave what does not. Guys, I am using the steampunk tarot today to paint your story. Clarifying for you today with the Casanova Tarot. This deck does feature graphic sexual illustrations. So guys, if you're uncomfortable with that, I will give you a reminder to click off before we get to this deck, or rather before we clarify. And, but do keep in mind this is an intimate tarot reading, guys, so expect to see and hear such language and images. Without further ado, let us get going, guys. If something does resonate with you or while you're thinking about it, be sure to leave a like on the video. <sighs> yep. I pre-pull your oracle energy. We clarify this at the end of the reading. All right, Sag. Guide spirit benevolent beings. Let's paint a clear and accurate story for Sagittarius. Help Sagittarius know what they need to know for their highest good and love. Interesting. Queen of Swords in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with any air sign, roughly, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You could have that placement. Could have cut something out, but I feel like either you want to reunite with this person okay, or third party. You want to reunite with this person? Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. That's the underline. This could also say that you used to get with this person, maybe for drinks, that sort of thing. You used to celebrate with this person. Maybe you don't anymore. Maybe you don't really. Let's see. Yeah, Queen of Wands in reverse Sag. Why? That's you, honey. Why are you in reverse? Oh, let's see here. What's at the heart of the reading? Confidence. Are you needing confidence? This could be a friend. Well, obviously. I mean, it's an intimate tarot reading, guys. But we'll see. You feel disconnected? Or it's a, something to do with image, I just heard? image body image you're not exuding your confidence or with someone from your past you're thinking about someone from your past what led up to this your passion feels drained or you're just tired frankly you could just be tired honey well, now we've got king of wands in reverse a married couple Married couple here. Passion is down. Passion is down, King of Wands and the Queen of Queen of Wands. Divine couple here. Hmm. This could say hmm. This too could say that the two of you are just tired, right? Someone I don't feel that though. I feel someone lacks their own confidence here, because also whoever you're connecting with, Sagittarius. They lack or have a fundamental lack of leadership about them. Or, I mean, reverse energies as it applies. This could all be you. You know what I mean? But I see a married couple here. 
in reverse. So they're looking at separation or there's something to do with an issue from the two of you from your past that you want to balance up with. You've known this person a long time. I feel like, I feel like drive is just down between the two of you at this time. Why? What are their obstacles at this time? What are Sagittarius' obstacles at this time, Spirit? Obstacles, challenges for Sagittarius and their person. Show me crazy. Thank you. The Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. You both there have a lot on your plate at this time. Some of you are doing divination of your own, pulling cards in yourself. You've been getting a lot of readings, things like that, trying to understand, maybe get to the bottom of what is the root of what's going on with you. You're trying to figure it out. What's wrong? What is wrong? Yeah, Nine of Swords. What is wrong? Why can't we figure this out is what someone is saying. Why can't I understand? Let me in. I want to understand your thought process. Someone does not sleep very well here. You may have, I feel the need to say Sagittarius that, I mean, I feel like I'm talking to Sagittarius as well as cross watchers out here. If you're checking up on your placement right now, that you're having a hard time. Ooh, nine and eight at the same time. In reverse though, the nine and eight of swords, you are overthinking an issue heavily heavily, toxically, you want to put it down. Yes, you do with the devil here. You let me know. You want to put it down, Capricorn energy. Or this person, this person though makes you feel like you can't go anywhere, like you can't do anything without them. But that's how you felt. That's the underlying. Show me the potential outcome here. You're releasing some burdens. For real. Figure out what those are in a minute. After we clarify, I knew it. A tower, of course. You can't have a ten of wands and not have a tower. Sudden change, obviously, here. Something had to come to an end. Something had to come crashing down. And I feel like it was a realization. Because someone got clear of something, right? They saw something. You got clear of something. You had to make a decision you did to go after your own star, to go after your own wish fulfillment, and to take a leap on yourself, frankly, to, sorry, to be the full in reverse, but here nonetheless. Some of you straight up, you had to take a leap on yourself. You had to go in a new direction. Let me know if you're dealing with Scorpio. Some of you moved too, and you rocked. This was after separation, the tower that brought you down. What does Sagittarius need to do at this time, please? Clear. Jumper for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to do at this time? Start over. Rebuild for yourself the world. It's a new chapter. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. You could be dating now, seeing people, talking to people online, that kind of thing. I just heard, yeah, kind of... Uh, I don't know, casually putting yourself back out there to figure out what you want. Let me know if you're working with a fixed sign here. All the fixed signs in the world. Okay, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius, you let me know. Any additional action needed for Sagittarius at this time? Reunite. Yeah. Show love. Knight of Cups to the Three of Cups. Reunite. Reunited and it feels so good. Re <laughs> Reunited cause you understood. Show it some love. Yes, 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 yes. I think I'm gonna put him under there, yeah. Show yourself some loving, baby. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, if anything's resonating, be sure to leave a like on the video, Sagittarius. We are now moving into the Casanova Tarot. If you're uncomfortable seeing graphic sexual illustrations, now is the time to click off. Thank you for watching. All right, guys, let's figure out what led up to this in the first place. Passion is just down between the two of you, not without some desire here, though. I think someone desires to balance up a situation here. They think about you. You do think about this person heavily. <sighs> Six of Pentacles, the equal give and take here. I want what I seemingly can't have. That's what it feels like. Someone is saying, I want what I can't have. Mm, interesting. Or I long for you. I long, I long for what has been missing. I could be juggling possibly more than one person here, though, as well, with the Two of Pentacles. Could be juggling more than one, or I have a lot on my plate that I'm currently juggling. But I need to make a decision, balance out, to come towards you. For what? I don't know. You're in reverse right now, honey. Why? Me no lack. Lack of leadership. I just heard. Hmm. Interesting. Your energy again. Knight of Wands. Keeping quiet, keeping a mask hidden about your personal carnal desires at this time. Your business. It is your business, by the way. And I'm not trying to pry. But guys, you came to the wrong channel if you don't want me to spill the beans, because that's exactly what I'm here to do. Okay. You want to balance up with someone. There's a debt owed here. Someone watches you to know when. When would be the right time, I just heard. Someone could literally be asking that. What time? What time? You want to meet someone? You've got the passion for someone here. Yes, you do. Oh, hello. To that point, we have Scorpio, Death, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. I'm actually only reading uprights today in this deck. Death to the Knight of Cups. Interesting. Death to a love offer. Or death. Passion's down. I'm trying to tell you, especially for for your person here. I'm going to be dealing with Scorpio. They feel like it's a dead end. Someone feels like it'd be rushing at a dead end. Offering a couple. Or someone you should flat out wants to offer a cup of love to a Scorpio, you want to offer a cup of love to a Scorpio, or Scorpio wants to offer a cup of love to you, but would it be a dead end? I think someone's going to try it anyway. It's a burden. It, it literally is the dead end. The burden, the Ten of Wands here, is the burden to make it work. Why? Someone knows this already to be true? Yeah, you sure do. Four of Swords. Healing your mind to this idea to an ending. Healing your mind to... <sighs> this idea of love that... Maybe you're resting on the idea. Or you straight up romanticize the hell out of this person and now you're sleepy. That's one possibility here too. There was a burden here. Now we're tired. That's cute. Very cute. Because someone got romanticized here. Death got romanticized here. To be frank. To be clear. Death was romanticized. A transformation was romanticized. Someone... The tower happened. The tower. And the ten of swords on the bottom of the deck. like someone saying, while I'm young, I want to live while I'm young to experience this joy, this pleasure, this, while I'm still young, I want to have these experiences before my time comes to an end. I want to romanticize the idea. Someone also could be just straight up dealing with their ex. Yeah. 
There are other little things trying to happen here. What is this sudden surprise? What's the tower, please? I am so curious. Oh, boy. The lovers. The lovers. To that point, the lovers. I want to choose you. Someone is choosing you. Gemini, you let me know if you're dealing with a Gemini. I choose you. But I don't show... Someone doesn't show their public... It's like PDA is kind of a, a thing for this person. Like one person I feel like really loves PDA. The other does not. One person really loves to show their partner affection and the other person's kind of shy to the idea or doesn't like it. Um, wishes their partner were more open in that realm, as it were. It's, I want to switch it up. I want to change it up. Shock surprise factor, the lovers. I want to do something daring. Okay. To everyone who's floating by on the river, it just looks like two people hugging and embracing. No big deal. But if you, you know, on the other side of, of, of the scene here, he's clearly hiking up her skirt and groping her butt. You know what I mean? So just to say there's two sides to every situation. There's also two, two interpretations of every situation, of every story. So whatever caused the tower moment here in your connection, just know there's always two sides to a story. And that might be the title of your video. There's always two sides to a story, Sagittarius. Always two sides to any story. And both are necessarily true. Both, in fact, are true. Because the experience was real for both people. Even if it was a painful one, right? Something came to an end here. The world is here. Why? Interesting. You knew this. Someone was hiding something as well. The High Priestess. High Priestess. She knew something. She knew something for a fact. She knew. Keeping something to herself. Keeping a tight lip. Or you don't want me to know that point. Being very quiet on the idea. Or you could be very intuitive, one of the two, or your partner sees you as mysterious and tough, hard to get. Um, yeah, because they can't penetrate. Sorry. They can't, they, they want more from you. They don't want you to be quiet on the subject of love, not with them. They want that display of affection. They want to hear it from you. They want to hear it from your mouth, Sagittarius. Yes, they do. I feel some of y'all, okay, some of y'all really love, like, you like good dirty talk in bed, if, if we're being frank here. All right, good. Someone needs it. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Someone needs, like, some good old-fashioned, like, dirty sexual talk in bed. Talk to me dirty is what's happening here. I need some loving in a unordinary fashion, okay? Break the rules a little bit, Sagittarius. Do something you've never done before. I don't know how you could not do that, but that's what someone's saying here. Maybe you're saying this of your person, you know what I mean? I want to reunite with you. Someone may even want to have like a three-way with you. I don't know, okay, but it crossed my mind, so I have to say it. It comes to my mind and spirit's like, Bloop. I have to say what comes to my mind, guys. Someone, I think, wants to try something new here. I think someone wants to have a three-way. Someone's imagined it. Yes, they have. Do something new. Switch it up. Someone wants someone. 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 Mm -hmm. Too much spirit. I just saw a lot try to fly out there. Too much. Why is the three of cups here, please? Well, look here. I told you. Three of Cups over the Three of Cups, and there is literally three people in this bed getting it on. Someone, someone, someone wants to have a three-way. Uh-huh. Yep, he's receiving oral under the sheets, and they're tenderly laughing and talking and all that jazz. Oh, yeah. Someone wants a three-way. It's okay. That is the high, that's the high priestess. Yep, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Guys. Oh. Oh. Can we switch it up, guys? You guys, you want to try something new? Try something different? Yeah, can we can we get the official seal of approval here on that with the higher font? Okay. It would make someone very happy. Yeah. Can we get the official seal of approval here on that point? Is that okay? Let me know if you're dealing with Taurus. Okie dokily. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm. Right. Ace of Swords, to the point. Advice, please, for Sagittarius. Uh, well, it's kind of up to you, honey. Three of Swords. She's gazing longingly down at the wand here in the middle of the canal. She has a choice, though, to embrace that heartbreak or to choose a new path, choose something new. She could stand there and be all sad and miserable, or she could go after that wand. Someone wants their passion back, for sure. Yes, they do. Okay. Yes, they do. I don't want to hear it. I just, I saw it. You saw what happened here. Okay. Someone wants to change it up. <laughs> Release and surrender from Doreen Virtue. Okay, we shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. Up to you guys. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do, but someone... Now, that's an aside, okay? Someone wants to do the do, right? Oh, yes, they do. Mm -hmm. I see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have Kaleno, the Enchanter Dream. I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. Some of you have had a fantasy about an encounter like this. Quite even possibly with an Asian. I don't know why that came so strong. That was so weird. That's such a weird download, Spirit. What is that? Okay. Okay. Do you think, guys? That is no, no, I don't know what. Well, I, sorry, I get weird downloads from Spirit sometimes, guys. That is not meant to be any kind of way at all. I just, I get shocked when I get specific downloads like that from Spirit, okay? It's, okay, it's just, anyway. We have the Cosmos, okay? It just makes me sound like an ass. All right, the Cosmos, Ascend, honey. I connect to oneness and expand my awareness. For some of, some of you, your person put you in a lot of third-party situations that you were uncomfortable with because you saw someone trying to be single back here. Nine of, pe nine, of, nine of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Someone, if some of you moved on from this idea, you just are like, nah, you know, we could try it. Maybe you did try it, you know what I mean? We could try it, but... I'm not comfortable with it. I'm not comfortable with the idea of too many energies up in my energy, if you know what I mean. Like, I need my space, you know? And your person, maybe that maybe that led to, you know, this, the, excuse me, King of Wands in reverse, that can be a shapeshifter, guys, and he, he likes to switch it up. He can put on multiple faces. He can even wear a disguise. You'd never know who he was under... You know, he's not even sitting in his throne. He's just standing over it. He could sit there. He could not. He could, if he wanted to. Never know what this guy's going to do sometimes, you know. That King of Wands. Funny guy. Funny guy. Good time, Freddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Astrology. Let's read Aquarius. I mean, did I just say Aquarius? Sagittarius. Oh, my goodness. Astrology. Now I'm mixing signs. Spirit. What's going on here? Destiny. You have an important life purpose and are here to shine brightly. 
You have always felt different and special and known that you were meant to be big. Trouble, trouble is, life has gotten in the way, and even though you have felt a calling, you don't actually know what it is you are meant to do. Before you were born, you chose the exact time of your birth and the date to determine who you would be in this lifetime and what you came here to achieve. Your astrological signs, stars, and planetary movement all play a big part in your life. Yes, you can create your own destiny, but it is the stars that point you in the right direction. So go seek out the astrological map of the journey of your life, by doing, for by doing so, many answers will be revealed to you. Not only will you be fascinated, you will also find that which you have been searching for all this time. <laughs> wow. Sagittarius, what a change up. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please let me know down in the comments. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe and support your girl. Guys, nearly at my uh, my next, uh, my first uh, 2K. Nearly at 2K, guys. Thank you so much for those of you who come back every week and support your channel and are getting value from the readings. I do appreciate you. That encourages me to let me know if something is serving you guys. Do let me know. I genuinely want to know what to continue sharing on my channel. So um, I appreciate that. I appreciate your love and good energy. Sagittarius, sending you so much love and light. I hope you are well. Be well. Take care.